depending on what angle you're at. And on each side of this chip ring, any sign of uh, damage where you are in that part of the cave? Um, let me look. I just got a good blast in the face. Um, I'm starting to see some of the little bit. I don't know how well you can hear me. Not not quite yet, but I'm seeing, like I said, a few power poles that look like that they're not tremendously stable. Uh, we are actually right up to a large field, so there's a big bump of wind coming from there. Um, we have a neighborhood around us. No, not any damage as of yet. Okay, Nicole, uh, are, did you say you were at a shelter on the cave? Where are you looking at exactly again? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Where are you on the cave again? We are right across from Diplomat Middle School at Cape Coral Fire Station number 5, which is directly across. And that uh, that particular shelter is absolutely packed. I was going to ask that, but my next question, uh, a lot of people are hunkered down in that shelter. What's the, what's the move? What's going on there? What we could tell was people were starting to get, it seemed a little bit panicked. It sounded like from the folks we talked to, for many of them it was a last minute decision to show up. Many of them were putting press. Some of the police officers were a bit frustrated by that. As I mentioned, many people were running back to their cars to grab some last minute items to take them to the shelter. For many people, it seems like it was just a last minute decision. It didn't seem like many people really expected this to become a category for it and just decided to head up to the nearest shelter. Well, Nicole, we're sitting here looking at the radar imagery right now. And, uh, the storm was bearing down on Sanibel as a Category 4, and at the last minute it's made a, 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 an unexpected, the warning's been unexpected, but another unexpected turn off to the north now appears to be paralleling Captiva, so uh, Cape Coral is not out of the woods what yet. Well, I just couldn't have seen like that. It's been pretty steady for several minutes, and right now it's just kind of the this on video this is the worst part of it Typing the worst part of the storm. Is storm surge is a function not, o not it is only now, of yeah. wind speed. It is now almost 3.30, 3.27. The winds would be blowing from the southwest would produce a storm surge. A longer period just magnifies it. And our concern right now, based on what we're seeing on the position of the storm, we're getting some fairly serious water probably backing up into the Lusa Hatchie River right now. Go back to the UC radar, if you will, and uh, as you see the last couple of frames there, uh, you can see that the storm really does appear uh, to, to be slowing a little bit and bringing on those uh, onshore winds, Fort Myers Beach, and down to Estero, all the way down to uh, Naples as well. Again, uh, I'm right here. We, we've just been amazed by this. Uh, and it was almost 3 o'clock when the storm just reached the uh, south central portion of Sanibel. Here we are half an hour later. Uh, we still have to. Uh, we've, we've ridden bicycles faster from one of the Sanibel to the other. Yes, we have. Okay, we've got now.
Max Mayfield now at the Hurricane Center. Uh, Max, welcome to our adventure here in Southwest Florida. This is Jim Reed. Tell us what you're seeing right now and what you're hearing from the aircraft. Jim, this is the nightmare scenario that you and I have been talking about for years and years. Uh, this has strengthened very rapidly this afternoon. There's a Chicago 4 hurricane as it makes landfall. Uh, you guys are really going to get caught over there with the storm truck flooding. Uh, and not just on those very islands, but up in the Charlotte Harbor and up in the rivers. Max, we were watching the storm surge uh, increase on Fort Myers Beach just in the last 30 minutes. Uh, what is your anticipation Look at that. for the storm surge? There's some flooding taking place down on the grass. Uh, this, uh, you know, it looks like it's a little bit to the left of the track here, so I think what we're really going to get my brother up into the... Uh, some water rising uh, on the grass down there. Mm -hmm. And, and we want to be very clear that uh, even though they're getting water now, they're going to get the higher water on the backside. When those winds come on shore, on the south side of the island, that's going to get the water up into the harbor. Look at that. What was that? The, the screen. Mm -hmm. River, I think uh, with the center uh, easing up here, down there now. Uh, you know, it's been longer, 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 There's somebody's yeah. screen. Well, somebody's screen is down there. That's probably what fell. And, you know, in uh, Gabriel, in 2001, they had about five penis storms all the way up there in the Peace River. Well, they'll have more than that. But tornadoes are the same thing. Uh, you know, the storm and the... We can see that the golfers uh, here in this golf club are not very committed. They can learn how to play it. They can learn how to play in the wind and on a soggy course, but obviously they're just not committed like they ought to be here. Uh, what's that? Uh, that's... Uh, that, that, that's a surprise. 